everyone, welcome back to Sports Gusto. In this video, we are going to talk about the future constitution amendments that shouldn't require court permission. So let's get started. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. The All India Football Federation Board should have the authority to change its constitution without requiring approval from a court. FIFA and the Asian Football Confederation jointly commented on the draft constitution of the AIFF in this statement. In a letter to Sanando Dar, the acting general secretary of the AIFF, FIFA and the AFC state that they are of the opinion that the supreme and legislative body of AIFF should remain entitled to amend the AIFF statutes in the future without the need for the courts to validate the relevant changes. The letter is dated July. July 25th and is signed by Vant Cardani, the Deputy General Secretary of the AFC, and Kenny Jean Marie, the main member, Associations Officer. The Supreme Court may rule that future revisions to AIFF statutes will have to be verified afresh by courts, according to recent feedback received from local stakeholders. The letter adds, the letter is on the file with HD. Any revision to the BCCI's constitution requires the Supreme Court's permission in light of changes made to the organization's management. The objections to the draft constitution that the member associations of AIFF submitted to the Supreme Court are similar to those made in the FIFA AFC letter. Both suggest limiting the influence of former internationals within the AIFF. Both claim that holding a federation office does not require one to resign from their position as president of the state association. The office of vice president, which is not mentioned in the draft, has also been urged to be retained by the FIFA AFC and the state. The states have stated that they should not be permitted to suggest candidates for former internationals who are referred to as eminent players in the draft, and that this should be reserved for members of AIFF alone, as stated in Article 22 of the FIFA Statutes of May 22. This is a prerequisite. Additionally, the states have claimed that having two members from each state, one of whom is an accomplished athlete and the other an official, violates FIFA statutes which make it plain that member associations should have just one vote in the general body. There is a copy of the 16 state objections that have been signed by Council Prati K. Chada with HD. According to the proposed constitution, each of the 35 AIFF states shall be represented by two people, one of whom must be a distinguished player. The Supreme Court appointed group of administrators developed a document Eminent figures shouldn't be a part of the general body according to certain states. Eminent athletes may have over 25% representation in the executive committee, but only as co-opted members according to FIFA AFC. The letter claims that having a general body with a 50% player participation is not a prudent notion. Although we concur the players' voices must be heard, the value of the current members of the AIFF should not be dismissed. According to the joint letter, states have requested that the executive committee include an accomplished player from each zone. AIFF affiliates were separated into five zones under the draft North, Northeast, East, West, and South. States have also stated that each zone should have a vice president. Vice presidents joining AIFF has also been proposed by FIFA and the AFC. In the letter, it is said that another possibility would be to establish the position of vice president vice presidents in the AIFF executive committee and provide in the AIFF statutes that such officials would step in in the absence of the president. This is in reaction to Drought Article 25.5, which provides that the executive committee may select a replacement if the president is unable to carry out his or her duties. The idea by FIFA AFC about vice presidents follow their observation that in the absence of such a position, the executive committee member who succeeds the president should do so. An AIFF office holder shouldn't have to relinquish their status in a member association. According to the states, the states have stated that such a decision ignores the reality of football administration in India and that it would make re-election impossible. States have protested to the drought as well. 
claiming that the Elite League must be owned and run by AIFF, as was previously stated, leagues around the world like the English Premier League, La Liga, and Major League Soccer are not always owned and operated by NSFs. Additionally, it breaches already existing business agreements, according to the states. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.